Hey beauties, welcome back. I know it's Thursday, but I'm here. I was caught up with work yesterday and I wasn't able to film because I was doing some stuff afterwards. So here I am. If this is your first time here, my name is Liza Matt. Thank you so much for joining me today and my subscribers, my beauties. Thank you for coming back and joining. So today I'm going to be talking about a little incident that happened to my eyes, which I'm really upset about. Uh, with the with a Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette that I bought and so I'm just gonna like tell you what happened because this wasn't the only palette that gave me like I guess my eyes just caught an allergic reaction to the formula I don't know what's in the formula it also happened with the Anastasia Beverly Hills soft glam palette which I was really really sad about and I had to return it for uh, over what happened with it but yeah so today it's gonna be like a w kind of tf or whatever shout out to tazi i love you oh my gosh but anyways um yeah so a couple of days ago i went to go play and do a look with my pat mcgrath palette this is the oh my gosh what is this okay this is the mothership submersive eyeshadow palette and when this eyeshadow palette drop I fell completely in love with it because of the colors they look stunning they feel amazing but unfortunately a couple of days ago I went to play with it and I caught basically like an eye irritation or an eye you know it was just it was a hot mess like I can't even explain to you what happened with this palette I have super sensitive eyes and I also have astigmatism so you figure with some high-end good quality stuff your eyes would not catch an, a reaction to it but unfortunately for me miss like sass like you know Susie sensitive <laughs> my eyes caught an allergic reaction to this and also the Anastasia Beverly Hills soft glam palette with this one I was playing with the colors a couple of days ago and when I took it off, the next morning, I woke up with my eyes completely swollen, my eyes completely bloodshot. They were bloodshot for a couple of days. And I, like, they got sticky on the corners because I guess there was just, like, like a pus kind of thing coming from whatever was in the formula. And it was, like, creasing out of my eyes. It was really bad, you guys. Like, seriously, if anyone out there watches this video and has had the same reaction to any high-end eyeshadow palette, please leave me comments down below. I want to know what happened to you, um, if you caught the same reaction that I did, like, what did you do to either work with it or if you have to stop using it completely. But this is what's going on with me. So... I'm really sad about it you guys because I am a fan of Pat McGrath and she's been in the business for a really really long time she just hit like her company is worth over a billion dollars which is insanity but she's worked really really hard for it and you know her just her eyeshadow palettes are insane they're gorgeous she just creates these colors that I personally have never seen before and just the outlook of how she does her palettes is just insane. It's unique. It's very different. It's seriously out of this world for me. And I wanted to try one of her palettes. And I also, like, I'm sure I'm not going to catch a reaction to, like, her lipsticks and her other stuff that I want to try that I have not been able to try yet that I will still try. But unfortunately, with the eyeshadows, I it just it didn't work out for me. And I'm really, really sad about it, you guys. I'm going to give you a couple of swatches just to show you how like gorgeously and like buttery and silky these colors are but they're just they're just like I, I can't this is the main reason why I bought this palette and I'm really really sad over me catching a reaction from it it's just insane so yeah so I wanted just to talk to you guys about that and then also about the Anastasia Beverly Hills um soft glam palette i bought it when it when it got released sorry guys i'm trying to close this <sighs> i bought it when it released maybe like a couple of weeks after and i you know was playing with it making a look with it one night and i woke up the next like i wiped it off right away after and i woke up the next morning with you know my eyes a little red i didn't think anything of it i was like eh, okay whatever maybe i just call it like 
uh, irritation from like some other makeup or something that I used during the beginning of that day when I tried the Soft Glam Palette. But then I tried to use it a couple of days after and it was the only thing that I put on my face that day was the Soft Glam Palette eyeshadows. And I like the next morning my eyes woke up completely swollen, bloodshot, pus coming out the sides. It was just nasty you guys and I don't like I'm just really sad because why can my eyes not like use high end quality stuff. You would figure that the high end stuff would be like amazing and not give me any reaction but unfortunately for me it didn't work out that way and I'm really really sad about it. Oh, you do not know, but, and, you know, I've raved about Anastasia Beverly Hills before plenty of times on my shadow, um, on my channel, sorry. <laughs> Talking about eyeshadows, I'm just like, ah. So, you know, I love her liquid lipsticks. I actually have one on today. I have the color Toast on, and, you know, I've, I love her matte lipsticks. I love her eyeshadow, her, not her eyeshadow palettes, her highlighter palettes, like one of them is my her Holy Grail, and it is just... I'm sad that I can't, you know, use her eyeshadow palettes either. So I'm just like, and I'm a little scared by that because I have a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette, you guys, and it's another high-end brand. And I got this on sale. One of them is cracked, but this is what it looks like. And... I haven't used it yet and now I'm just like well with the Pat McGrath and Anastasia Beverly Hills now I'm kind of scared that is the Natasha Denona palette gonna give me the same reaction like I'm gonna be really sad if I really really cannot use high-end quality eyeshadows this is crazy I don't know help me someone please so I have not played with this one yet but I'm gonna have to to see if I catch you know a reaction to it too I really don't want to because there's a palette that, that Natasha Denona has that I have completely fallen in love with that I would like to purchase in the future. Future, I say, because it's $239. But, yeah, I'm really going to have to save for that one. But, yeah, that's my dilemma, you guys. Oh, my gosh. So, I, I'm really sad over this. But, yeah, and just a little bit of chit-chat on the side because I have some time with you guys. Um... I'm celebrating my birthday this weekend and I'm super excited. I have a few days off of work and today's Thursday. Tomorrow is my actual birthday. It's on Friday and I'm really excited about that. Uh, I have my cousin Nancy and her daughter, my little cousin Lily, coming to stay with us for my birthday and I'm so, super excited. I have not seen them in a really long time and I've really missed them so I'm excited about that. And then Saturday, we're supposed to be going to my favorite restaurant, and I will hopefully not forget my my disc for my camera this time because I want to record everything, like little snippets and everything for you guys, and just like post like a birthday video, or whatever. So if you would like to see that and find out what my favorite restaurant is, give this video a thumbs up, and yeah, I will do that for you guys. On another note, I got the vault, the Morphe Jaclyn Hill and um, collaboration vault, and I have it all over my eyes. I used this morning Bling Boss and One Shadow from Armed and Gorgeous, which I think is the VIP shadow, is the highlighter, like the real intense white highlight shadow. And I worked with the Bling Boss. I'll show you what it looks like, and you guys, I didn't have any issues with it. I feel like. A lot of the reviews out there over the vault is like 50-50. Like a lot of people don't like it. They think it's the same formula from the first batch that went wrong. And 50% also, they love it. They have not had any issues with it. No patchiness. No, you know, like insane fallout or anything. But this is, this is the palette that I worked with this morning, Bling Boss. And I have to say, you guys, like, I didn't, me personally, I did not have any issues with these palettes. I used Rockstar, which is kind of like a cranberry color, and I've completely fallen in love with that color. I have it, like, at the, at the top, and you guys, it's just, it came off well. It has a lot of pigment. I didn't have any issues um, blending anything. Like, I did make the mistake of, when I went in for Gem, the purple, I wet my brush and with that color you really don't have to like if you went in with your finger the pigment will come off so like insane 
it's just it's a stunning color it's beautiful and then i used ballsy and bling bling together to like cut the crease in the inner corners and just bring them out and i didn't have any issues with that either but because there's such like a high like sparkly intense colors the bling bling did did have some fallout but it wasn't a big issue for me like for me if it if it has fallout but the eyeshadows you know do what they're supposed to do then i don't care about it but yeah so i went in with bling you know with the bling boss palette and i really love it for me so far the vault has been really good like i don't have any um complaints about it and then this is the Armed and Gorgeous palette. I really want to work with this palette next. And I went in, in with um, VIP, this, this color right here, like on my inner corners. And, you know, I didn't have any problems with that one shade so far. So I'm really liking it. Let's see. I'll give you like a future update and review on that as well. And if you like this look, I will do my best to do a tutorial for you. If you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Haha. -ha. So anyways, my beauties, thank you so much. I just wanted to, to talk to you guys about my little dilemmas with my high-end shadows. I'm so sad that I'm not, I can't use them. In a way, it's good because then I don't spend all the money on them. <laughs> but in a way, it's sad because it's like high-end quality stuff. And why can my freaking eyes not take it? Super sensitive, man. It just, it kills me. But I, I really, really hope that it doesn't happen with my Natasha Denona palette. Please, Lord Jesus, let it work with one high-end quality palette. Oh my gosh, you guys. So, I will see you on Sunday, beauties. And give this video a thumbs up if this helped you guys in any way. And again, please, if you've had the same reaction to these types of palettes that I've had, leave me comments down below. I would like to chat with you guys and see what's going on. So don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on Sunday, beauties. Bye.